Good morning guys. So this is just a vlog update video, uh, kind of just talking about what I've been working on and stuff uh, since the last video I uploaded, which was the part three of moving the washer and dryer inside. So I've still been doing little projects, um, been doing some other stuff too, uh, going to one of the local coffee orchards here and uh, helping them out. Um, uh, first, I guess I want to say I hope everyone had a good Easter. Um, I'm ho I hope everyone is doing okay with this uh, COVID-19 shutdown that's everywhere worldwide. Uh, I am in my fifth week, I think it is, of being home from work. Um, I did go to work uh, Wednesday last week. I had to go up to... Mauna Kea, and we just did a check on the telescopes and everything um, just to make sure everything was okay. So uh, I'm still occasionally working, but they're kind of dividing it up between, you know, everyone that's there. So um, the majority of the time I'm still at home, like a lot of you are, I think. Uh, anyway, so some of the projects that I've been working on, which you can see behind me, I guess, um, started putting fencing up and uh let me turn the camera around okay so we did end up getting fencing put in and this is semi-permanent temporary and basically what i did was i attached it to the house over here and then i got a mosquito buzzing in my face <laughs> uh it's running around the tree here Continues on, goes there, around that tree, down to that tree, to that tree, to that tree. What, Hati? What, what, what? Psst, get it. <laughs> so the fence is actually secured in. So on, uh, you know, some of the trees, it's actually stapled in. There's a couple spots, which right there, you can see there's a, a hole in the fence so the dogs haven't really discovered that yet um, but then they kind of don't really go in that area before this was sort of their area that they would go down and explore and then of course the big one would just take off out the back of the property so it's mainly the the big one skull that we're worried about keeping in Hati never really wanders around uh, he doesn't wander very far anyway so it goes in here and then comes back around and it's attached to the house over in this corner. So it gives them a pretty big area to run around, um, chase each other, get some exercise. And then uh, another thing I've been working on, which you see Skull over there is chilling in the doghouse. So I made a, uh, a doghouse that basically <laughs> matches our house. Um, for the fencing though, you can see right here there's a so there's staples in there. So the fencing's actually secured in. Um, like I said, this is semi-permanent, temporary. Uh, when we do get the fence posts, um, it will probably be somewhere in here, we'll have like a fence post put in. You know, the three post configuration for a corner. It's gonna go down to uh, right around here, there will be another post. And it's going to angle just past this little tree in between those. It'll go there, and then there will be another corner post there. Um, where that tree is, and then this tree over here, we eventually the fence will just go down because the driveway's right over here on this side. So the fence will go from here down to the driveway, and it'll go along the left side of the driveway down to where the gate will be eventually. And then the same on this side, this will eventually continue all the way down this side behind the water catchment tank. Uh, I will be building a retaining wall that's going to kind of go all the way around the catchment tank. And then on the other side of that is where I'll be building the garage. So the fence will go down and it'll basically connect to the garage. And then on the other side of the garage is where we will start the first paddock. And that is where we will have goats I think will be the first thing that we're going to get. Um, 
So the garage is gonna be basically 20 feet and then it's gonna go 30 feet, so 20 by 30, which it'll stick out. It'll go a little bit behind the tank and then slightly in front of it, but it'll be in line with the house here, just on the other side of the tank. Um, and then there will be a driveway that cuts around the back of the house and then continues down to the driveway out to the street. So pretty much that's it. Um, I ended up having to move my little coffee plants if you were wondering where they're at because the dogs keep messing with them. They tried eating two of the containers and then they were digging up this one yesterday. So um, I ordered a concrete mixer. So that will help me because I'm gonna start doing, uh, there will be a concrete sidewalk all the way around this side. And then I think I'm also going to do some concrete planters around these. Just something a little more established because right now the dogs will dig those rocks away and then they'll just start digging in there. I thought the lava rocks would be good, but uh, when the big one gets in there, he makes a mess. So, uh-oh, they're about to attack. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, those coffee plants are now on the other side of the house. Um, and then I guess let's take a look at the dog house. Psst, 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 psst. Skull. What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? Hmm? So just a simple design. Uh, these are like foundation uh, bricks. So the 4x4 four four actually sets inside there. And then they have a little moving pad for the blanket. And then just a shed roof style. And then, of course, their house is blue with white trim, just like our house. <laughs> and it was, we had a really big storm that rolled in last night and this morning. And we were getting about two inches an hour, I think is what they were saying the rainfall was. And this blanket stayed totally dry, so that's cool. Has a little bit of an overlap. Um, not much, but enough. As long as the rain's coming straight down and the wind's not really blowing, then it should be fine. If not, we can just throw that thing in the washer and get it cleaned up. And then I added this little awning extension, which again is temporary. Um, but the problem here, as you can see by the rust marks on the railing, so where the roof drips is straight onto this railing, which is just like, it was just bad design, I guess. Um, so what would happen before was the water, when it would rain, it would drip on here, it would splatter over everything and everything up here would be totally soaked. So now the porch, the little porch actually stays dry. But what we will be doing eventually, oh, good boy skull, <laughs> um, which will be coming up before too long, we're gonna be putting in a lanai. So basically from this window here, down to that window there, which is about 24 feet, and then it's gonna come out 12 feet. So that'll be our, our porch, lanai, deck, whatever you wanna call it. And then it will have a roof, and we're going to do, um, initially I was going to just do an extension of this roof, but we don't wanna do that because it already looks too much like a, a mobile home, I guess. So we wanna do a, a gabled roof that'll tie into that roof. So we'll probably get the deck built initially, and then the roof may take a little longer because we're actually gonna have to replace the roofing up here because when we tie in the gabled roof from the lanai into that roof, all this will come out in a triangular shape, you know, that follows the roof. Um, and then when that happens, we wanna replace all the roofing on this side. And then on the other side, we'll replace the roofing over there eventually, too. I don't know if we can afford to do it all at once, but... Oh, my finger was in front of the camera. All right, let me turn this around. All right, so basically that's it. So I'm still doing some uh, little projects here and there. Um, probably be on hold for a little while, just because... Um, you know, I have a lot more time on my hands now and still waiting, you know, on the next paycheck to be able to do the next project, <laughs> pretty much. So we're trying to budget everything as much as we can and trying to pay cash for everything as much as we can. Um, 
we will have some bigger projects you know like when we do when we do build the porch that's probably going to be several thousand dollars um, but we may do it in steps so um, another thing is going to be building the shed which is going to be one of the next projects that I'm going to need to get started um, and then also the retaining wall is going to be going around the catchment tank and that's going to need to be get, getting that started soon because for me to establish the pad for the garage to go on and there's a lot of mosquitoes out this morning all that rain um, for me to establish the pad for the garage to be built on I got to get that retaining wall in so that we can start actually building up the pad leveling everything and um, moving forward with that project but uh, that's about it. I just wanted to do another update video of what's been going on, check in with everyone. Uh, again, I hope everyone is safe. Um, I know a lot of people are affected by what's going on and some have lost their jobs. So if you can, you know, help out your neighbors, help out your friends, help out your family, of course. Um, but, you know, there are people that probably could use help more than others and may need it. So if you are able to, then then help people out, you know? That way we can all kind of get through this together. And hopefully things will start getting back to normal soon. I don't know when, but we will see. <laughs> um, and I know up on the mainland, it's probably even a lot more than how it is here on Hawaii. Um, so again, I hope everyone had a good Easter. Uh, I hope everyone's safe. And uh, I just wanna say thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Aloha.